In a previous video, I went into great detail explaining the setup and use of the RA2 rotary attachment with the Xtool D1. If you're looking for that video, I'll put a link in the top right hand corner of the screen. The Xtool RA2 is one of the most versatile rotary attachments on the market right now in my opinion, but it still suffers from one very annoying problem that could lead to damage to your machine. And this is the fact that every time you want to use it, you have to unplug your Y motor from the mainboard, and then you have to plug in the rotary attachment. And this plugging and unplugging constantly could lead to the wires being damaged or even the connector on the mainboard being damaged. And if you damage the mainboard, that could be a very costly repair. Not to mention this just takes more time. And if you're running a laser cutting and engraving business, your time is valuable. But luckily I do have a solution for you and it is this RE2 rotary switch, which allows you to keep all of the connectors plugged in simultaneously and using the switch on the front, you can change between the rotary and Y axis functions. So you never have to unplug those mainboard cables again. So let's take a look at how easy it is to install this on our Xtool machine. On the RA2 rotary switch, you can see on the front, there is a rotary symbol on the left hand side and a Y letter on the right hand side. And both of these correspond with the two positions of the switch on the front, one for the rotary function and one for the Y axis function. On the back, you'll find the connectors and included in the kit, you'll get the wiring harness required to complete the assembly. When looking at the back of the switch, the far left connector has a label that reads from machine and this is where you're going to plug in one end of the included wiring harness, and it doesn't matter which end. Back over the machine, we can grab the cable that comes with the RA2, and it has a four pin end and a six pin end. We'll take the four pin end connector and plug it into the connector on the rotary switch that reads two rotary. The middle connector label reads two Y motor, and we're gonna grab that connector from the inside of the front frame of the X tool. So now we can unplug the Y motor connector from the main board for the very last time. And when you're unplugging and plugging in these cables, and even when you're operating the rotary switch in the future, you should be doing this with the machine off. Do not do this with the power on. Now we can take the Y motor cable that we just unplugged, and we can connect that to the middle connector labeled to Y motor. And then we can take the included wiring harness that we plugged into the connector labeled from machine, and we can plug that into the main board. At this point, the only loose end is the six pin connector that would normally go to the RA2 rotary tool. But before we connect the RA2, we're going to use the included mounting tape to adhere the switch to the front of the machine. The placement doesn't have to be extremely precise, but I'm going to put it just to the left of the Wi-Fi antenna. There are two shoulders at the bottom of the switch that you can press up to the bottom of the frame so that the alignment on your machine is perfect and the installation looks very nice. Looking again from the back, you can see that I've taken one of the original holes in the X-Tool frame and I've used another zip tie to tie up the excess wire inside of the frame for a nice clean installation and to make sure that none of those wires ever get stuck on any moving parts. You can also see in this view that in the future, if you ever have to unplug any of these connectors, they're still accessible under the frame. Another thing that you can see is that the switch does not protrude lower than the first leg extension. And so if you don't have any of the other extensions on the machine, you'll still have clearance for the switch. Now we're ready to make the final connection to the RA2. So we'll take the free end of the harness, which is the six pin connector side and plug it into the RA2 motor. And now if we want to use the RA2 rotary tool with the machine power off, we flip the switch over to the rotary side. The RA2 continues to perform and function as you would expect, but of course now you no longer have to unplug and plug those connectors in every time you want to use it. When you're ready to change back to the regular XY engraving and cutting mode, with the machine power off, flip the switch over to the Y symbol and you're ready to go. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching right to the end. Please consider becoming a subscriber. And if you guys are looking to support my work, visit my website, embracemaking.com, where you'll find more upgrades and accessories just like this one for your X-Tool machine.